getting started with Nova Point 19, part two. We continue now from the last webinar and continue with our project model 01. And we create, uh, import a uh, Northern Survey map, create an alignment and create a road. Uh, when you start Nova Point 19, um, you can open an existing project either by selecting the icon in the opening page, or you can go into the uh, settings button and select from the list of the recent projects that have been opened. So we select model 01, project opens, and we can see now that we have um, the same project that we had in the first webinar. In that webinar, we imported a point cloud, we created a ground surface, and we created a 3D presentation. And here is the 3D presentation with our auto photo on top of our ground surface. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is an important ordnance survey so that we have some mapping information um, and so we, that we can use for an alignment design. So I mark the summary task import. Go to insert again, the same as we did for our file import. Import files. And now we select uh, the file format we want to import, which is a DWG. These are the files that are received, uh, and we'll use the Ordnance Survey Map ITM. This is 2D in mapping information. Again, it does a check to see if there is any information in the file with regard to the coordinate reference system. Uh, and here it says that it's unknown, but we know that this is the same as we have in our model. So we continue. Important when you open a DWG file, um, and in this case, the Ordnance Survey Map is in blocks. So we need to go to the block and explode the blocks and import, or have imported them in the drawing before we import it. Uh, as you remember before, we also already give all the objects we import now, now um, uh, and a status of existing, because this is existing mapping data. So remember to explore the block. Uh, we also have selected preview, so we will see a preview of the model before, of the temporary model before it's imported into our project. And you can see here the temporary model has been created. And now we get the preview of the Ordnance Survey data. So the next step is, as we did before, is to create the conversion. Uh, there's a standard conversion rule, CAD geometry to unclassified objects. But we could also now uh, create our own conversion rule based on the layers in the drawing and convert every item in the drawing uh, to an object. So for example, road edge to road edge, fences to fences, houses to houses, and so on. We select the standard drawing rule, and we can take finish. And now the temporary model here with 37,000 features will be stored into our model. It is important that we check our DWG files, that we don't have any points that are far away from where our mapping data is, because that would be imported and would in increase the limits of our model. And this can affect speed. So it's, it's very good to purge uh, all information in the drawing before you import it. OK, uh, our import is just finished now. And you will see we have another task under the import, and it's the imported uh, Ordnance Survey map file. Uh, and this is shown now in the viewer. We can click on it, and we can say view in 3D. And even though this is only 2D information, all the points have uh, elevation zero, 
you can see them here now also in the 3D window. So this is our mapping information. We are soon going to start AutoCAD and then it is useful in AutoCAD to have the Ordnance Survey map as a background in our AutoCAD drawing, particularly when we're doing alignment design. So we can mark presentations, go to the next tab which is View and create a plan presentation. And we can call it Plan from Ordnance Survey. And for this presentation, we actually only want the imported Ordnance Survey map. And you see when we select it here, we also select it in the, in the um, 3D view. So now we've created a, a plan view. Uh, before we go to AutoCAD, we, we create two new tasks because we want to create an alignment and we want to create a road. So the first thing I do is I mark the top of the process tree, right mouse click and create a new summary task that we call 30 road design. Mark this and we go up to modeling and first we create an alignment. We can call this alignment 100 and it will be stored then on the road design summary task and the calculation basis it will use for the vertical alignment of course we select our ground circle. And there you see now that we've created alignment task. Now we create a row task, and in this case I hadn't selected in my Explorer window, but I can select here that I want this also uh, placed on the 30 row design summary task. Uh, we can call this for row 100, then is the alignment, and again we tell our road which terrain it is to use. So we've created an alignment task, a row task, and a plan. And now we can go and start AutoCAD. And this is now very similar to the user interface that you've had uh, in Nova Point 18. You see you have the Nova Point menus uh, as before. Uh, and the first thing now is that we want to draw our Ordnance Survey map into AutoCAD. So I can go to Nova Point, draw in presentation from Quadri, draw plan presentation. Uh, here we are automatically given the one task plan presentation task there is, but if there were more we could select the one we want to draw. And we can also select to draw in 3D, but this is a 2D drawing, so we don't want to draw it in 3D. Of course I could have opened the Ordnance Survey drawing and used that, but I just wanted to show you how to draw from the Nova Point 19 model. So here's our road system. Uh, I thought maybe we'd just do a quick alignment along this stretch here and we can use that uh, as an example. So as in Nova Point 18 we start alignment design and we can very quickly just build up uh, a rough road design here along this existing road structure, something like this, just so that we have something to work with. I must tell the alignment I've created now uh, which task it belongs to in the model and it belongs to A100, the task we created. And now of course the alignment knows where it's going to get its terrain from. Then we can go to the vertical alignment design and you see it automatically then finds the terrain profile based on the ground surface we created from the point cloud. So we can very quickly create a vertical alignment something like this. I'm not going to use an awful lot of time now on the on, on a good design so I just do do a quick alignment. And I can take OK draw. And now if we go in here to the R alignment we can use NCU. As before, click on the alignment and we can select a setup and I can select, uh, let me see, uh, yeah, we can collect this uh, standard noble point alignment setup and now we have our alignment. 
if I go back to Nova Point 19, I can click on the task alignment A100, right mouse click, and view in 3D. And there we see our alignment with stationing and our vertical information. So we can see our, our alignment in, in 3D space. Uh, if I go to our 3D presentation now, I can click on that, and you see that a new tab is opened up here, the editing task. And I can go in here now, and as a sort, source feature for our 3D presentation, we can add the alignment we've created and finish. And now you will see the alignment is also shown uh, in our drawing or in our 3D view. Okay. And now we want to create a road for this alignment. So I can either mark the road task, right mouse click and take open, or I can just double click on the road task and the road wizard opens. So this is the same as we have in over point 18 actually. So you can select the alignment task and we can say this is to go to, okay, 2400. Sorry, the last change is 2392, but that's okay. Uh, we go and select our design standard. We select the Irish design standards and select uh, maybe a, a rural S2. Typical cross-section. And we can accept the default values. Create. And then we just need to fill in, this is a soil template. Oh, sorry, this is uh, a yeah, soil template and this is a rock template. And calculate our super elevation and widening. And now we can build our model. And now we've created our road and actually we can mark our task, right mouse click, view in 3D, and here is our road design. And of course, we can move around and, and uh, look at our alignment, or look at our road, and now if we use the control button, mark the alignment, so both are marked, right mouse click, view in 3D, and you have your road with your alignment. If I go back to our presentation task here, and now we add, in addition to the alignment, we also add the road. Finish. And now you will see that the road is included with the art to photo. But as you can see, the road hasn't been cut into our model yet. So that's the next step for us. So now I go to the ground surface. And you see here we have a ground surface for the whole area. But now I want a ground surface where I've cut a hole for our uh, road design. So I mark ground surface, I go to modeling, ground surface, and we call it ground surface with road design. We can select as a feature our ground surface that we had before. But the one difference is now that we want to create a hole from our road model. So I select hole on the task, naturally enough. It's our road, and of course you can select a number of roads. But what's important here is that we want to cut a hole with the outer boundary of the road. And that is the boundary of our plenum. So we select this, and you see it's marked in the drawing here. This is where we want to cut the hole in our terrain surface. And we finish. And now if we look at this, you see there's a hole now cut for our road. So now we have a ground surface, and we can select our road, and select our alignment, and view in 3D. And now our road is cut into the terrain. So we're going to make a new 3D presentation now.
So presentation, 3D, and we can call it 3D with road. We select, we would like to have maybe our alignment. We would like the ground surface with road design and we'd like the road design. And here we can select the same auto photo we had before and drape onto terrain and finish. And now our road is cut into our terrain model and is also cut into our auto survey, our auto photo. And here we have the completed road design. We have a function here, a helicopter function, and we can now um, select our alignment, A100, and now we can drive forward and back along our alignment using the helicopter function. And you can zoom in and zoom out, and we can analyze our design. That's the end of the second webinar for getting started with Nova Point 19. Thank you very much.